her. The minute she saw me, she's like, oh, we don't have a vitamin C. I was like, okay, um, maybe for dinner? She's like, no, you need two weeks in advance. I was like, okay. And then I check on my phone and I can actually book you for tomorrow. As soon as I left, I just had a feeling inside that something was not right. She goes inside and she has a different welcome. So I went there and I was like, do you have any availability food for today? And she's like, yeah, for when? For dinner or for now? And I was like, do you have any availability now? She was like, yeah, how many people? I was like, for two. And she was like, yeah, sure. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to get my friend. Unfortunately, there was no apology. Um, after I shared the video, uh, the restaurant did see all my mentions. Uh, they have decided not to apologize at all. Um, nothing. Uh, they actually decided to restrict their comments on their posts, which really is an answer. The fact that I was with a blonde friend, I was able to put it to test and actually prove that such things do happen. The reason I'm taking this, I, t I posted the video I'm taking this to court is in the hopes that things will change in Paris and for my hijabi sisters in Paris and Belgium because they are experiencing a lot of discrimination on a daily basis. This was just a one time incident for me, but for them, it's every day they're unable to find work or study uh, with their hijab, uh, which is something very bizarre to me. So I really do hope a change is, uh, happens from this. Donc je suis venu habillé comme dans le